nothing. We push to 141. Jacob Rye, the freshman, coming home close to St. John's. His first opportunity to wrestle in a duel, and he takes on the freshman, Jimmy Nugent. Well, you know, another young guy getting out of the mat here tonight, but you mention it, coming close to home, and he's got to be pretty happy with the situation. NIU kind of giving an early lead to work with. And Ryan Ludwig is a Michigan guy. He's from Chelsea. So he gives his freshman an opportunity here right down the road. St. John's about half an hour south on 127. Brian, a three-time state champ for the Red Wings. His dad, grandfather, also wrestled for St. John's. And Nugent out of Darien, Illinois. Nothing better than getting this experience as a true freshman in the lineup on a Friday night. Mid-American Conference Wrestling. So far, it's been Bry that's been more aggressive. Got it on the high C. Now can he cap it off for points? He's going to switch over, get both. Nice job by Nugent to scramble away, not give him both legs. Still neutral. And now the takedown. I think he scrambled away from that about as long as he could right there. And... I think Bry did a great job of trying to cap it off. Nugent able to get free to get on the board with an escape. Well, I mean, aggressive early part to this first period, and it'll be pretty interesting to see, you know, kind of who continues to be the aggressor here throughout this. We saw Nugent come out aggressive on Sunday, but lost in the bout against Clarion. And again for Bry, his first opportunity in a duel. He's six and two in his young career for Northern Illinois. It'd be a dream start for Northern Illinois if they take these first three bouts, Riley, and go up nine nothing, or if we see a bonus point victory, maybe more. Again, a team that just has not had a lot of success against Central Michigan with how dominant they have been in the Mid-American Conference. Yeah, absolutely. And, you, you know, trying to do it here in one of your away duels within the conference, too. I know that, you know, we, we talked about how tough it's been for a lot of teams to come here, but from Northern Illinois specifically, and I don't think they could ask for a better start other than maybe some bonus points in that last bout. I think they'll take this, though. No question about it. Kind of saw that scramble at the beginning of this first period, and they've kind of calmed down. I mean, you look at Bry, he came out aggressive, went in on the shot, got the two points. Well, talk about what we saw out of Nugent in his last, in his last time out there. And there was mat returns, there was lifts, there was toss. I mean, he was aggressive and in, in trying to use his strength. All right, though. They've settled in. It looks like we're going to finish with three points in period number one. Takedown belongs to Jacob Bry. Well, and here's a, another look at that takedown. You can see at the beginning of that Nugent trying to scoot away, trying to stay, keep his hips away from getting locked up in those two points. But that's a good job of using that, that leverage on that single leg by Bry to get up behind, keep him in a spot where he could get the points. Yeah, you said it took a while for him to get it done. Nice mat return right there from Jimmy Nugent. He's on top for the first time. Trying to get those boots hooked in. And you can see Bry trying to avoid that. They could see he kind of started squirming a little bit more as soon as you saw it. And now this is dangerous. And Nugent riding a little too high there, and Bry gets the reversal for two. Not an easy thing to do, throwing in both of those legs. And I think Bry felt that and immediately said, Hey, I'm going to get out of here. And ended up riding a little bit high and was able to reverse it. Well done by Bry. And he's got a commanding three point lead. And now, as we've seen through the first few bouts, the Huskies can take advantage. They have been tough on top. Willing to get here where his body's flat on the mat. I mean, nice cross face. Use the opposite leg to kind of tumble him over. Once you got him flat, as you can see, Nugent works back up to that base. You have a lot of options from here. Nugent's going to start to feel the effects of this here in this period. There's the wing Saw that earlier at the 133 weight class. Oh, we got the power half here. 
And now the flip over. Back points. Anything more coming for Jacob Bry? Nugent trying to get free. 15 seconds to go in the period. Nugent doing everything he can to keep that right shoulder off the mat. One more last lunge. And four back points up on the board for the freshman, Jacob Bry. Well, that angle right there that you saw that from, that was amazing because you could just see his shoulder blade maybe an inch off the mat. It was close. And that's, you know, you have to give Nugent some credit there because for Bry, that's one of those spots where that's where you're testing your opponent's will. Short time, end of a period, already gave up the back points, but can you keep yourself off the mat? And Bry being willed by family and friends that have made the short trip from St. John's to come watch him tonight. He's got a seven-point lead with riding time up to a minute and a half. And he is making life difficult tonight for Jimmy Nugent. Well, there's another wing, too. This is the same situation he got, and he's got that left hand on the other side to try to turn him. And he's done it. Back points, four more, it looks like, coming. But Bryce setting it up. He wants to get the fall. He's trying to bring that opposite shoulder down to the mat, but also give that referee right there a good look into it. And there's the fall. Six on the board for Jacob Bry, a memorable first collegiate duel. I mean, what a great performance from him. You could see, was able to maneuver around, roll him kind of onto his neck, and that's where you want to give up, and you give up the six points.